I, I actually hated God for what he did to me. Uh, obviously, uh, being born with this, I was like, why did God do this to me? I always saw myself as different. Obviously, I, I call this my identifying marker. Saya lahir ada cuma dua jari, satu tangan, and two toes for each foot. Right, so I have only the big toe and the small toe. Namanya it's ogliodactyly. In my life, I realized there's three types of people when in regards of my disability. There's one that knows I'm disabled and doesn't act like I'm not disabled. Yeah, they, they recognize that I, I have disability and they act, they treat me like I have a disability. Then there's the friends that, that know I'm disabled but pretend that I'm not. Uh, th those are the people that they see I'm disabled but they, they try to pretend that I'm not. And then the third one is my favorite types of people is they know that I'm disabled but they forget that I'm disabled. And I like that because those types of people, they treat me as if I'm just a regular person. They'll be like, uh, yeah, hey, uh, you should do it like this with your thumbs. Yeah. And I, I look at him, I'm like, bro, I don't have thumbs. <laughs> and then we just look at each other and we laugh. And then he's like, oh yeah, I forget. <laughs> those types of people I, I really like because they look at me as a person. Uh, they don't look at my disability, they just look at my uh, humanity and in high school I played a lot of sports right I played football I played soccer I played basketball a lot a lot of sports I've always been very active in sports I like to go to the gym when I go to the gym now uh, I think people are surprised that um, I lift as heavy as I do sometimes one person even told me he's like you know what uh, and he's a big guy he, he was coming in trying to lose weight and he's like if you can come here and do this I can come here and do this I'm good and so I always have been motivated by people doubting me. And so when I am doubted by someone, that motivates me. And I don't know why, I know that's not good, it should be motivated by ourselves, but it makes me feel good knowing that people are wrong about me. But on the spiritual side, I, I actually hated God for what He did to me. Uh, obviously, uh, being born with this, and I was like, why did God do this to me? And uh, there was one time, uh, <clears throat> Before I really knew God, I come out of a nightclub because Pastor Johannes had a life before uh, that's different. So I came out of a nightclub and there's this guy who is passing out flyers. And dia tanya, uh, what happened to my hands? So I told him the story, I was born like this, blah, blah, blah. And he said to me, he said, um, my dad is a world famous surgeon and he's actually looking uh, for someone to document a surgery to restore their physical disability. Would you like to be that guy? And I was like, uh, this is weird, this is random. He, and he said, Nga perlu bayar apa? Like, satu penny. They'll pay me because it's, a, it's on TV, it's a documentary, right? It took me one week. I asked all of my friends and family what, they should, what I should do. Uh, some said yes, some said no. Actually, it was 50-50, like exactly 50-50. So the decision had to be on me. Uh, when I saw that, it was like, I, I felt like it was God asking me, it's like, do you wanna trust my plans for you and keep what you have? Or I'll give you a way out. You can be as normal as mechanically possible and you never get to see what God, what I want to do in your life. At that decision, and this, keep in mind, I was not a Christian at that time. Like, I was a Christian, but I wasn't a Christian Christian, right? And so I was like, okay, uh, let me see what God will do in my life. And then within a year, uh, God called me into ministry. And so today I'm pastoring in Indonesia, right? Because I trusted what God wanted for my life. And so I, I know that I would not have been able to achieve what I'm achieving right now if I didn't trust God. Di 2009, I think 2008-2009, aku main basket di gym namanya uh, 24 Fitness in the States. It's 24 hours. Uh, one, one time after the game, I got the best compliment that I've ever received in my life. He said, you know, you're better than what you should be. Uh, and it doesn't seem like a compliment, but I think in life, we always have circumstances. We always have things in our lives that prevent us from doing something. Right? And so I, I want to tell people we should be better than what we should be. 
whatever circumstances are in your lives. Perhaps you're disabled, perhaps uh, certain things in your life didn't go the way that you want it to be, perhaps people doubt you, perhaps you view yourself as not being able to do something because people call you dumb, people call you stupid, people uh, say that you can't do something physically, people uh, just doubt you in any general circumstances. But uh, when those things happen in your life, just be better than what you should be. And so that's all I'm just trying to be, be better than what I should be.